spoilers and offensive content to come. This is Carlos and Dave Anime Review, the best anime review show on the internet. This is a little event I call the Friday for fuckery. Let's call it the Friday for fuckery. Four spelled out like the number. Because we have four brand spanking new episode ones we're going to see from very recent shows. Two of which I want to see and two of which are just very popular on the internet. And we figured this is some primo coattail riding opportunity. One of those shows is a little something called Yuri on Ice. I heard this title and I thought, finally, a lesbian ice show. It's it's about two dudes named Yuri, both named Yuri, and they're like, I guess, Olympic ice skaters or something. This is not one of the ones I recommended, but I- I've heard people rave about it. And then I'm like, do we got to watch it? And you're like, yeah, probably should. This is actually... You know, the- that cash money. Carlos, the, the, this is actually... I, I didn't tell you. Uh-huh. This is the beginning of the fall 2016 we are not anime do, we are, rave we, extravaganza. We're not doing another one until we finish the fall 2014 one, <laughs> which we are not yet done. So let's jump right into Yuri on Ice, episode one. Comrade. What, what the fuck? Now... Singing aside, I think the intro is quite lovely. I kind of like this painted effect thing they got going. Not a big fan of the music, of, of the, the the song rather, but, you know, take I'll take what I can get. It's just more shocking that... Yeah, we are actually watching the... <laughs> this just came out, it is the Japanese version, so it's rare that they do English songs. Um, I was going to say, hey man... If, if, if this show is not Yuri, but it gives me the Yaois instead, acceptable. I am all about that non-heteronormativity. I'm bisexual. I'll take it. Okay, this says this is in, in, in Soshi, but I don't see the, uh, the arrests and the... Okay, stop that, Carlos. That is in bad taste. Bad taste. As if, so I heard was most of the food. <sighs> Folks, if, if you want to... If you want to let us know how, how racist we're being and how much you, you disapprove, we wholly deserve your comments. Just let us know and we'll we'll make an apology video or something. Why is this a weird parallel to My Hero Academia but figure skating so far? I mean, we Really? Kind of, no, really. We have kind of our, 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 our meek loser of a main character, his blonde rival... The oh. hope, hopes and aspirations that he seems so far from, but you know he's going to reach out for and grab and succeed at. Okay, but these are cliches. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the same three cliches. Uh, I don't think so. Number one, he's managed to make it to the finals, which is already more than Deku managed to do in school. Dave, they don't have to be exact parallels. I'm saying... But you can have a parallel to anything. I, I'm saying that it's kind of this weird... It, 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 it's kind of a similar take. It's just instead of superheroes, it's figure skating. I just find it funny. Sure. Okay, you know what? Why, I, don't, why don't you just lie down on some ice and let some skaters just skate all over? What an asshole! That dad needs to be punched right in the mouth and face. Though I, I do kind of like I, I do appreciate what they're trying to go for here. I like the idea that. He feels just about as not a hero as you could possibly feel in this point in time. And uh, here he is at home getting this hero's welcome. He does not feel he deserves. And um, he he doesn't even know where he wants to be in life. And all these people are pressuring him to be that hero. It, it's kind of a neat, a neat tale. Um, it, 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 it's, he's kind, I, I'm kind of digging how they're presenting this even though real talk this could have been about lesbian figure skaters and i'm not sure the subject matter is up my alley but let's see where the first episode takes us they're doing a very good job of showing both skaters and showing just why um yuri isn't making it in the skating world because victor here 
they're doing everything very smooth, very confident. Whereas with Yuri, it's very rough, very janky. He's getting the moves, no problem, from what they're showing. But he doesn't have the flow that they're showing Victor has here in the competition. And that, that comes across so easily. Yeah. When you're watching real skating. Yeah, uh, Yuri's too textbook. He's too... He doesn't have that loose, expressive confidence, right? Yeah. It, and, and let's praise this show's animation for oh, being able to fuck. show this part of it. All the little details they've got here, like competitions, like I, I mentioned a moment ago, the flags in the background are right. Mm -hmm. They're actually putting the detail into that. Now, I have no idea what the hell the, the um, sideboards are saying. Mm -hmm. What advertisers are going on there? Well, it's a competition in Japan, so I imagine they're going to be very Japanese, right? And obviously, they can't just use things like Coca-Cola or things like that for licensing purposes. You'd be surprised at how many would actually jump on a, on a kind of a licensing thing for advertising. For To make the anime authentic? Yeah. They could. It's not necessary. It, it's but not I mean, necessary, but again, y you definitely can see how... He's still very amateur at what he's doing. He's not... Part of it is confidence, I'm sure. I think that's maybe the only thing. Well... <laughs> he's clearly good enough to be at a certain level. It's just he's hit this plateau because his heart's not in it. Something about him is mm -hmm. is, is holding him back, it, right? It, it can be the coach. It can be the training methods. Lack of confidence. But, yeah, no... This anime is doing a fantastic job of showing, not just telling us. It's showing us where his limitations are right now. Yeah, yeah. And I really appreciate that. And that bit might be part of the problem right there. He's trying to copy somebody, and he's got the moves. I can't... I mean, four quads? That's like super high difficulty... Um, for an ice competition. You know more about this than I do. <laughs> I kind of followed the Olympic um, ice skating for a while there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before it became obvious that it was complete and utter farce for the who was winning. Yeah. yeah, I remember some of these. Yeah. So anyway, the amount of quads in there and then a quad into a triple. like You can have all the endurance in the world, but your ankles only hold up so long. So to pull off that many quads in one segment, yeah, that's high freaking tier you pull that off it's kind of like <laughs> we surrender you win kind of thing the, you've act, they've actually had competitors change their program last minute because the person before them or a couple ahead did that many quads it's like um I only got three this is not going to be enough to pull me in so he also, he has no originality. And I was going to say, did you ever see the movie Rockstar? The Mark Wahlberg joint? Where he was, was... that the comedy or was that the serious one? Well, certainly there was some comedy in it. It was, uh, Mark Wahlberg was, uh, he was a part of a cover band for Steel Dragon, which was kind of a, this 80s uh, Metallica style group. I think I did. And, uh, he was just this perfect, perfect cover singer. Mm -hmm. Uh... But he, he he never wanted to do his original songs, which his girlfriend was urging him to do, but he didn't want to. Steel Dragon lost their singer. The, the singer wanted to retire, so they were looking for a replacement, and he ended up auditioning and making it. Mm -hmm. But after he got caught up in the, in the debauchery and kind of the hedonistic lifestyle, he grew tired of it, and the movie ended with him finally breaking out and kind of doing his own music on his own terms mm -hmm. and whatnot. It was a really, really good movie. And I'm kind of getting that vibe here. Like, he's so good at copying Victor, but he's not himself, right? And he tries to do his own routine. He can't just go copy Victor. The judges are going to lambast him for that. They're going to annihilate him for that. And it's not him. He's not expressing himself, right? No, it's just a complete copy. And, like, okay, the way I've got paused here right here is um, the girl there saying, I thought you'd be depressed or something. He's depressed. He's monstrously depressed. He, he, he may have pulled that off perfectly, but it's kind of like when you're doing your job and it's like, you know, <laughs> wax on, wax off. Or yeah. uh, he shaving feels a cut. It's second nature, so he can pull it off. But again, 
copying somebody will never be as good as the original. Yeah, he feels like a failure. He lost the family dog, which he obviously loved very much. And losing a family pet, that can be devastating. Like, some people don't look at their pets as members of the family, and he does, and I understand that. If, uh, you know, some of the family dogs that I, the, the, my family has, we've, we lost, even if we lost one of them or both, I would be devastated for a long time. Like, mm -hmm. like I mean, so I, I, I get that, and I think, uh, yeah, it, it's actually... I like that she's saying that you know she thought he, she thought he'd be depressed, but boy was she wrong or whatever. No, he's depressed. He is in a bad way right now, and the show's doing a good job of showing not Shinji figure skater here going through that. That's not cool. No, it's not cool, but it's funny that it happened. <laughs> it <laughs> it's funny the video got retweeted. It's going to be an opportunity for him. I I get that, but yeah, not cool. It's kind of rude to the customers. Kind of, yeah, it is a little rude. Be like, hey, hey, buddy, I'm a little nude here. <laughs> you know, I'm feeling a little vulnerable. You want to not just approach me all of a sudden fully clothed about figure skating? <laughs> you know, I fully appreciate that he's nude right now. I actually think this scene works way better. That he's completely naked. Doesn't bug me. That was episode one of Yuri on Ice. Here was his... Bye, fuck that up. <clears throat> Here with his thoughts is a senior anime correspondent, Devaniel Dave Lewis. <laughs> Devaniel, what did you think of the first episode of Yuri on Ice? I liked it. It got so much right about figure skating. The, whoever did this did a lot of research and really nailed it. I liked it. I also liked it. What I thought I was going to think before we even started is that uh, even if this show does everything it does really well, and it certainly did, that the subject matter wouldn't really captivate me because it's about a figure sk about figure skating. I just it's kind of like that one show Shirobako. about yeah yeah it's like Shirobako. fantastic first episode, and I have no doubt that it's it's the people who like it, the, the, its fans are well earned. I believe this of this show too, but it just wasn't really for me. I didn't care to see more of the subject matter. Yeah, there's a reason why we, um, we cut it. We both talk very glowingly about it. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes we see the first episode of something, and we're like, hey, that was good. I don't want to see more of the show, but I hope it succeeds. You know, the, the kind of a well wishes. But I don't know what I think about that part of this. The animation is impeccable. The sound design is great. The voice acting is fantastic. I like the characters, I like the protagonist, I like Victor, I like the little domestic life bits for the most part. Some of it's a little over the top, but whatever. The figure skating stuff, you say they got completely right, I have no reason to believe otherwise. Uh, so I really have nothing bad at all to say about the show. The question is, do I care about its subject matter to keep going? And I think my answer to that is, if next time you happen to put it on... Yeah, I've been put on episode two. I will not say no to raving it. That's gonna happen. Okay, well... Because this... When an anime goes ahead and grabs something new, whether it be free with its swimming, mm -hmm. this with its skating, um, and a couple other ones, like, it just... It's something different for once. So... And it's handled with a lot of respect. It, yes. Actually, isn't Shirobako... Did I get that title right, or...? I believe that was that was the one with the the protagonist is that woman who she and her friends promised they'd make an anime together, and she's kind of in the industry, and we kind of see an insider look at the but anime industry. Isn't and how Shirobako much... the, um... That anime about that mall? I think I got the wrong title. No, it's Shirobako. The one you're thinking of is uh, Abenabashi. Thank you. Okay. Abenabashi is a completely I, I, different show. For some reason, I just thought I was saying the title of that one. But yeah, no, this is... It's intriguing. It, it it just nailed all all the highlights. I mean, we see his, you know, fall from all of his ambitions just kind of fall apart. And now you see him build it back up. And through a little accident to get the attention of his hero. Like, Yeah. I, I mean, um, would you say this is a surprise to you? Did you think you were going to be in this position at the end of this episode when we started? I didn't think they'd get it right. 
th th this is just one of those ones where if the animation was any less stellar or handled with the respect it was, it just would have been junk. Yeah, I gotta say, this is, uh, this is, I see now, I see why now this is being praised so, uh, mm -hmm. highly on the net. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm on board, I'm on board, let's watch this tale of figure skating. Carlosnamanmarieff.com is your home on the web for more figure skating. We figure skate, uh, around new animes, and by figure skate I mean review, and by around I don't mean the word around. Oh, we do get around, though, on, on the anime rave. Sometimes we go full circle. Sometimes we were masters of spin, where we like something one day and hate it the next. Um, we are the best anime review show on the face of the earth. Terraformers. Oh, Terraformers. <laughs> it took three episodes for that to go from, oh, this looks neat, to, oh my god, this sucks. I argue it took one episode for it to do that, yeah. but but still, yeah, yeah, point taken. Regardless, uh, tune in next time where we will see if the two Yuris can get along.